Bring to you that a top aide to Governor Shapiro has left the administration amid sexual harassment claims. The allegations are disturbing, but many women and lawmakers say what's worse is the way the governor handled them. The fountain turned pink, women battling breast cancer celebrated. But some GOP lawmakers question whether the Shapiro administration properly protects women. I found this situation very disturbing and infuriating. The situation is an accusation of sexual harassment against Shapiro Legislative Affairs Director Mike Verab early in the year. He just resigned last week after increasing media inquiry. You know, they protected him. He stayed in his very powerful position and the victim was left to fend for herself. She thought she had to quit her job. Um, that is just wrong. It is wrong. Verb is not commenting, Shapiro not taking questions, but a spokesman issued a statement saying in part, robust procedures are in place for thoroughly investigating reports of discrimination and harassment. I think if the press, if the information hadn't been leaked to the press, that he would still be there. That, that he would still be in that position where he could continue to do that. Republican Rep. Abby Major's allegation against colleague Mike Zabel led to his resignation in March, and she spoke to Verb's accuser. She knows some dismiss it as younger women easily offended in the workplace, but says this was repeated, sexually charged comments. Listen, we're not trying to get rid of men who maybe make an offhand comment that's taken the wrong way. Like, they don't deserve to be immediately fired, maybe investigated to make sure it's not a pattern of behavior. But if there's a pattern of inappropriate behavior with many women over many years, like that, we just can't put up with it anymore. There are strong suggestions at the Capitol that there's been a settlement with the accuser and a non-disclosure agreement forcing all parties to be quiet about it. Ward's not being quiet about it and said, if true, details should be made public. But I, I, think, I just think an NDA for something as serious as this charge, if taxpayer um, money was used, yes, the taxpayers deserve to know that. She also wonders whether this has anything to do with that undone budget. He was the man that the legislature worked with. Uh, and, you know, we don't have a budget. We're months late. And you almost wonder if he was distracted because of this situation when he should have been focusing only on getting this budget done. Now, just before Verb's resignation, we submitted a right to know request asking for details of the allegations or any settlement. The administration has asked for a three-day extension, which is their right. We'll keep you posted.